Beggars can't be choosers, but beggars never quit. Height here, and you already know what this is. It's time for choosing beggars. Let's do it. Our first one is from Mickey B. Hi, I'm looking for a sitter for a nine and eight year old, one girl and one boy. 14 year old son may also be home. However, he pretty much sorts himself out. Nothing needed there. Preferably someone with own transport or living close by in the area, as will mostly be evenings and nights and possibly overnight at times. Looking at probably one evening a week, sometimes more. Nights will vary between weekday and weekend night. Not really much to it but entertaining kids, making sure they behave, feed them. I will order in or cook for you so it's ready and will provide enough for you also. Tidy up. Make sure they have showers and put them to bed. Bedtime depending the day, 7 p.m. to 8 p.m. Use of Wi-Fi. Happy to pay 15 to 20 dollars. We hope to meet up at a park or my home before starting so the kids can know you a little and we can chat also. Must be someone reliable and confident with kids alone. Happy to answer any questions. Think you may need to increase your hourly rate as it only equates to $7.50 to $10 per child an hour. Cheers for the input, however a lot of the hours will be them literally just being here watching TV while kids are asleep. However the rate would be discussed if needed with a potential sitter. Thanks. Good luck with it. Lots of lovely people in here so I'm sure you'll have no issues finding the right person. Whether the kids are asleep or not, $10 an hour is scab labor. Just saying. Thanks, just a single mom with a little help trying to have some kind of social life between working, studying, and mom duties. Hopefully someone is keen to get the experience under their belt. Just so you know, I work for a nanny company and they won't send a nanny out for less than $30 an hour. $35 if it's a Sunday including when the children are sleeping, for a one-off shift. If it's a permanent role, it's between $25 to $35 an hour. That's great, hence why I'm not using a service as I can't afford to. Just a single mom trying to have a social life, etc. Hopefully someone is looking for the experience and it suits them. Overnight sometimes? Social life? Well, yes, as it would be late, home or meeting friends in Sydney. My god, what is with you all? Judgmental much? If you're not interested in the position, keep scrolling. It's got nothing to do with you. Jeez, just give a person a break and stop being so judgmental and assuming from the other side of a keyboard to a person you know nothing of or their situation. Or work? Or education? Or caring? Does it really matter? Thank you, exactly. None of anyone's business and you're not interested in the position. Why comment? Just to have a stab at someone? Cheers, Wilson, for the support. Much appreciated. Just trying to live and support kids and everything on my own. It ain't easy. And then cop these kind of comments and I've already hidden a few of them. Of other judges out there. Regardless, you're still asking somebody to take their time and then to be around your kids. You want to be paying a right price. You don't want the person who will happily take the low price to be around your kids because I guarantee you that person is someone you don't want near your kids. But continue playing the single mom card. I'm a single dad and I do just fucking fine. This next one is by Fartleton. Pending, Griswold Erie, number 7 Griddle. Very rare. Sterling? Huh? Any sterling silver? I have one serving platter. The skillet you replied to is extremely rare and pretty awesome. Pick price of the platter? Yeah, I can't pay that much for a pan. Maybe 25 bucks? They go for like $250. Since pick. Plated. Thumbs up. I only buy real sterling silver. Even if those were real sterling silver, you mean to tell me you'd only be paying 25 bucks? <laughs> Honestly, I, I don't think that you would be able to afford those if they were real silver. And the sterling silver you buy most likely isn't real either. This next one is from Skeleton Meat Suit. This model took a very long time to make. Hope you enjoy. 
Archived work from September 2021. Art station link for this model's here. 3D model made by me. Spooky Ula in Blender 2.93 Substance Painter 2021. RCA Advanced Armored Heavy Unit in Futuristic Cyberpunk Style. This model uses a variety of techniques including UDIM materials, custom constraint based rig, and baking normals from a high poly mesh. Final optimized model uses 156 bones, poly count of 224,000 tries, and 8 materials with texture sets of resolution 1K to 4K. Original high poly mesh, 3 million tries, with lots of small details was used for baking normal maps and correct looking shapes. Work was being put into it since August of 2021, and in total, 2 months. Texture sets 4K x 4, 2K x 5, 1K x 2. Material made in SP 2021. Nice! I'm a game developer, so I would like to make this vehicle as an in-game vehicle, so please send this model to beggarskeepbegging at gmail.com for some credits. Great model. Deal? If they spent two months working on a 3D model, and mind you, I've only fucked around with 3D mapping for like 5M purposes, and I'm still learning, and I know nothing, so asking for something for free, and then they're claiming they're the one is a game developer, then pay for the model, because they took a lot of time to make it. This next one is by Maya Moore. Can I please have price for installing? Hi, just for the diffuser without rear spats, would be $80 to fit. Would you do $60? It's just drilling. Well, if it's just drilling, then why don't you do it yourself? Oh, that's right, you probably can't. That's why you're asking for a service that costs money. This next one is from Dilligel97. Can someone help me and my family with food or takeout as soon as possible? Because we have to use the money we get to pay rent and bills. No money to buy food and toilet papers and paper towels. Two, my husband gets paid next week. Please someone help us. The serious thing because me and my husband has medical issues. We have to eat. I'm on dialysis treatment for kidney failure and my husband has stomach issues. He has to eat or he'll go back to the hospital again if he don't eat. I will send you the address when someone messaging me for food. I have some canned goods you can have, but you have to pick them up. Sorry, we don't drive. I'm happy to drop off first thing in the morning around 9. Please send address. I can't eat canned food because of dialysis. I can drop them off tomorrow. Not even pasta? I have peanut butter, spaghetti noodles, sauce, and some frozen pastrami. I can't eat that, sorry. I am on streak diet, on being dialysis. What can you eat? Fish and steak and ribs and pork chops and breakfast cocoa puff with 2% milk and hamburger and buns and eggs and cheese and bread and ham and chicken salad and potato salad and chicken pot pie. <laughs> that sounds like a dialysis diet. To be fair, I have no idea what kind of diet one needs to be on if they're going through dialysis. However, I, d I, I really feel like they're asking for a lot of prime food and not willing to take what's actually being offered. I don't know, call me crazy, but I don't think they're really that hungry. This next one is by Aversa. I thought I saw a tweet somewhere saying that autistic people shown on Love on the Spectrum were not paid for their time. Can someone either find that tweet and or corroborate this? The casting call in the US indicates that the series is a documentary series, so all roles are specifically not compensated. They do cover the production costs of dates, meals, and travel. Love on the Spectrum, Production Description, Casting Love on the Spectrum, a new documentary series. Production states, we're looking for participants for a documentary series featuring people on the autism spectrum, about dating and relationships. We're looking for single people on the spectrum who are interested in dating, as well as couples, at any stage of a relationship. So this isn't an acting gig, it's all about people being themselves. We are a fun, respectful production aiming to raise awareness about autism and celebrate difference. 
We are open to a diverse range of people. We want to represent the spectrum as best as we can. Compensation and contract details. Production states, as we are a documentary series, we cannot pay for participation, but we do cover any meals and transport costs incurred. We work around people's schedules to make it work. Asking autistic people to invite cameras into their house, have their family members and themselves interviewed, go on a date with a random person and or speed dating, and the autistic person gets no money. And to be publicly shown on TV so that millions of NTs can comment. Huh. I can't imagine being an autistic person, being asked to go on all of these dates and getting interviewed, having cameras in your house with no compensation. Also, is that why so many autistic people who do this show don't have jobs and or works from home? Because they don't want to pick people with jobs since they're not as available? It just seems really amazing to me and sad that this is uncompensated. The fact that this is uncompensated and is not a true documentary, they wouldn't just regularly go on dates with other autistic people, really leans more towards exploitation in my opinion. I already have issues with Love on the Spectrum as I find the whole concept to be exploitative. But now it's even worse. The cast was not paid. The thing that frustrates me is that I actually know an autistic person who applied for the show a while back, and of course wasn't picked. It seemed like they intentionally cast people who still live with their parents and are relatively young, in their 20s to fit their paradigm. It seems as though they intentionally pick people who are still often framed or seen by NT society as children, because maybe that's what neurotypical people want to see, I don't know. I just know that the formula they use isn't conductive to not infantilizing an autistic person. I look at it like if these people were in fact not paid for their time, but yet they were plastered all over TV and you know that the production was making money from it, then yeah, it's definitely exploitation and the company is 100% in the wrong, should be ashamed of themselves and should go back and pay each and every cast member. And our final one is from Main Yogurt Closet 82. This story always makes me chuckle when I think about it. I was visiting a friend in Santa Monica, California. She is a very outgoing person and very involved in her community. We were walking down the road to get some dinner when we were stopped by a guy claiming to be stranded in SM and is looking for advice on resources and where to go for help. My friend tells him about a shelter just down the road. He thanks her for the help and starts a spiel about needing laundry money, if we didn't mind. My friend cuts him off mid-sentence. Oh hey, they have free laundry machines at the shelter. She then goes into a 10 minute long explanation of the shelter and surrounding aid he could pull from. She goes into heavy detail, giving him names of shelter employees she knows who can help him get a bus ticket back home or wherever he needs to go places within walking distance that are hiring short-term workers and won't mind if you're from the shelter. She just goes on and on. This guy was like a deer in the headlights. Finally, she stops talking long enough for him to mumble a, thanks, and keep walking. She then looks at me and says, it's always best to kill them with kindness, and gives me a wink. I believe that if people are down on their luck, they definitely could use a boost, and a lot of people have the ability to give somebody that boost, and that boost could actually change their life for the better. However, there's so many people who pretend to be down on their luck, or even if they are really down on their luck, they get a boost but it's not enough. They're the ones that ruin it for the rest. Alright, that's enough beggars for the day. Well, that wraps up this episode of Choosing Beggars. If you liked the video, please drop a like, share my content on all of your social media, subscribe if you haven't already, and make sure to hit that bell so you're notified every time I upload, and drop a comment down below. It really helps with the algorithm and helps new people find my channel. Thanks for watching, thanks to my patrons, have a great day and stay safe out there.